This is the reality of life. One hour after your funeral, the crying will subside. Your family will go home and start to take care of their different businesses. Meanwhile, your body meets the soil. Two hours later, some will call your house and make excuses for not being able to attend the funeral. Meanwhile, some people in your house will start talking about sports, politics, and other worldly news. After six hours, only your immediate family will remain, and everyone else will return home and start planning their next day. Three days later, candidates will be invited to interviews. That will be advertised in newspapers or on the radio to fill your vacant position at work. Your body will start to expand at that point, and your mouth and nose will start to leak foam. Five days later, your daughter and son will return to work, and your body turns from green to red as your blood begins to rot your organs. Two weeks later, your wife, your children, will meet with a lawyer for property sharing, and your nails and teeth will begin to fall out. A year later, someone will say, wow, is that all? It's like yesterday, we really miss him. You need to keep in mind that people can completely forget about you in a matter of days. Right now, what matters is the honorable legacy you leave behind and the deeds you commit. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, when carried to his grave, a dead person is followed by three, his relatives, his property, and his deeds, two of which return after his burial, his relative and his property, and one remains with him, and that is his deeds. This hadith is found in the book of Sahih al-Bukhari, 6514. Now, pause for a moment to reconsider the people and worldly items that you are currently fixated on. Are they worth it? And will they remain there for you once you pass on?